Well, howdy diddle down to there, chums. To say, Captain of the Steve, today, chums, for you guys in the viewer verse, I've got some guides for you guys that I think will blow your fragile little minds on how to make yourself some units. So, yes, I've got two billions of the units at the moment, people. But yeah, I did have a little stash of stasis devices to do that. But I also did a daily grind to get about a billion units. And it took me a full day to get a freaking billion. So anyway, first off, I'm quite lucky with my settlement. My settlement gives me two daily commodities. And I'd imagine yours gives you two daily commodities too. So if you've got a settlement and you've upgraded it a little, you've done a bit of care work to it. Hopefully you're going to be able to pick up daily items here that are going to give you a massive great big boost to your day's unit grind. So let's head on in and let's just have a look at what my settlement produces. View settlement status. You can see there, I'm lucky. I get activated idiom. It's 999 of it. But yeah, that's quite a chunk, isn't it? And I also get welding soap. Now this takes up a lot of slots. Look, I'm going to fill up my exoseat inventory and now I'm going to go and fill up all my freaking freighter hold. <laughs> freaking mental. And I've still got some left. No, I haven't. Okay, brilliant. Well, I can now go sell all of that. And the nice thing is you've got a portal right here. <laughs> so you can just jump straight back to your freighter. And if you've got a Galactic Trade Terminal interface on your freighter, you can just go sell it there. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So I've arrived coated back on board my fratty oh, and I'm heading over to the Galactic Trade Terminal Interface, which is this little kitty here. It does look pretty nice. Yeah, heck yes it does. I think I prefer it to the old Galactic Trade Terminal. But there you go, I just sold my welding soap. But that's only one batch of welding soap. I had to break it down and put it across multiple inventory spaces. So spotting the damn stuff's hard. There's the activated idiom. 999. Going to get myself quite a nice little healthy chunk. Not as big as a chunk as I would have liked, to be honest, to be fair. But yeah, let's uh, carry on. Let's carry on selling stuff because we're going to go to some activated idiom farms later. And I've got some bad news for people out there inside of the Viewerverse while I'm looking for the rest of my freaking soap. Yeah, plants that you plant, yeah, your farms, are completely worthless now, people. They're, they're completely worthless. They're nearly as dead as my freaking jellyfish. Jellyfish, why? Wake up, jellyfish. Go on, do your thing. Yes, I don't pay you just to sit there. Freaking jellyfish. Right. <laughs> okay, so yeah, your farms that you've, you've, you've spent all that time on making, they don't give you as much, but I'm going to get to that in a moment. I'm going to show you that you don't get as much for your plants anymore. So yeah, somebody hit me up. It was Nat or Cat or somebody like that and said, Captain Steve, what's going on? Yeah, what's going on with plants? Can you can you fill us in, please? Yes. So jump on in, take a quick look and have a look what's going on. Yeah, there was somebody inside my comments. It might not have been Nat or Cat. Or I can't remember the person's name now, but they said, Captain Steve, please do a video on it. So I'm going to include it in here as a way that you probably Probably not going to be able to get your units as quick as you'd like to think anymore, people. So yeah, let's head on through here. I've got a farm through the back doors over here this way. And look, I'll pick up one of the plants and show you. So here's some star bramble. So if you are hoping to make your old valves and all sorts of other stuff that you used to do, or stasis devices even, it could be that your farms are not going to give you as much anymore. Look, I'll pick these solar vine. Let's see how many we get. We're going to get eight. We're going to get eight freaking solar vine. All right. I don't know why Hello Games have done this. No, I thought it might have just been on the freighters, but it's not. I've been to my bases as well. It's like when I was doing my glass farm the other day. Just to get enough to make some freaking glass from my frost crystal, I had to pick about 12 plants or something ridiculous. So yeah, for whatever reason, they've restacked it. They've rejigged it. So they've nerfed all the farms. I don't know why. It's a bit weird. I, I hope it makes sense in the upcoming future. Anyway, Idiom Farms. Activate the Mondo. Boom. So now we're over on Reddit. So Reddit on the Coordinate Exchange, if you just do a search for AI farms, it's going to bring you back lovely farms like this one. I mean, look at that one. It's going to bring back, what, 67,000 AI? And, you know, that's an hourly. That's an hourly thing. So you can just be... You can just sit there really all day if you like. You know, if you're working on your laptop, you're working from home, 
Just have no man's sky open and just let it count up and you can see how much you're going to get. Just keep running backwards and forwards and looting it. What I would say is turn off your multiplayer though, because other players will be there also looting it. So you want to get there, turn off your multiplayer and just sit there for the whole day. And just um, farming that and getting loads. And that's kind of how you go about it. You know, I'm at work for like seven and a half hours a day. Might as well just sit there and just loot it. And there's loads of activated Didium farms on side of Reddit. And some of them, some of them are like free glyph systems, two glyph systems, systems. Some of them are really old though. So make sure you look at the actual date. Now I usually go maybe for a year uh, and after. Otherwise you find that a lot of people, they, they move on. They sometimes delete their old bases and create new ones. But look at that, that looks freaking epic, doesn't it? Heck yes. Now I did zoom in there to show you the actual coordinates. They were in the bottom left corner. For whatever reason, this video has cut it short so you can't actually see them. But I get you get the idea. Jump over to the coordinate exchange. There's also a Facebook group as well called the Interstellar Index that they share stuff. There's also base building communities and you're just looking for activated idiom farms. People use the abbreviation of AI farms. So that's what I used in my search term, term but you could type in the full word activated idiom and you might find some more. You might find some more recent ones. So just do a few searches and hopefully you're going to come across some. This one is a three glyph system one. So you only need the first three glyphs to get here. But seeing the actual portal coordinates on here, it's a little bit pixely and it's quite difficult to make those ones out. But yeah, I think that's, I think you can probably see that. Okay, let's scroll up. Let's see if I can find you some better ones. No, you can't see those ones at all because of the, the white pads and the white. There we go. That one you can see a bit better. This is all the same farm. This is all the same farm. There's loads of pickable plants here as well as activated idiom. But as you saw earlier, you don't get as much for your plants. But yeah, so that massive great big farm that took them ages to make, it, you're not going to get as many plants anymore. So I don't know whether they've changed some of the recipes or what, but what I've been told by people in my comments on my previous video is, Captain Steve, how do you make the units because my farms don't work anymore? I'm trying to make stasis devices and I'm lucky if I can even make one out of my whole farm, which was giving me like, you know, a dozen before the actual latest patch. So. For everybody that's making stasis devices or AI valves, um, it seems to be that your farms, you might want to go double check them. You might want to see how many AI valves and stasis devices you can actually make now at your farms, people. Let us know in the comments. Sound off. Yep. Or if you want to share a portal code or something for people for your own activated idiom farm, put the coordinates in the actual um, description. Lovely. Or, or link even. I think I've, yeah, I've, I usually allow links, so it should be okay. Um, yeah, anyhow. Brilliant. So let's go to one of those activated idiom farms. Let's go and test one and make sure it's definitely there. So here we go. Let's key in a goat. So we've got ourselves a birdie man bird bird and a sandy set and a triforce and another birdie man bird bird. A triforce followed by a waypoint. A waypoint. And we've got ourselves a TP or a wiggity worm. And then um, we've got ourselves a black hole, a welly man twelly man thing, a boat in a bow face, an eclipse. And uh, yeah, we've got ourselves a rocket. Yes, a rocket. And a whale, king of the sea. Awesome. Let's, um, let's go jump inside of that portal. And hopefully it's going to take us to the AI farm. Heck yeah. So thank you, Reddit here, for posting up this lovely super duper base. Let's jump on in and go through the actual portal. You would have seen who created this before, but hopefully it's going to be discovered by that same person on the screen now. So there you go, discovered by M5K. Very cool. Right, I've got my living ship. I've done up my living ship. It it handles better than my hauler, but it's not as freaking gnarly as nimble as my fighter. It's a very odd ship to categorize. What would I use it for? I'm thinking maybe doing running of contraband because like I say, it's got a bit better maneuverability than my actual hauler and the capacity is fairly similar to the hauler. Um, so yeah, maybe, maybe just running some loot. We'll try it a bit later. We'll go loot some stuff. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe we won't, I don't know. Anyhow, so here's the AI farm. And look, you can see there's got this massive great big tower there of the harvesters. Now I'm losing a couple of frames. I'm on PS5 and this is a gnarly freaking farm. So yeah, anyhow, I'm gonna loot this, but yes, I would suggest turning off your um, network settings and your multiplayer, your crossplay, all that sort of stuff. If you're thinking of staying here for the full day and looting it, because you don't want another player to swoop in and grab it halfway through and then do one and leave you with nothing. So yeah, make sure you got your multiplayer crossplayer off and just sit here for the day and just keep getting this stuff. Every hour you should get it full again. So just keep looting it each hour. Lovely. 
cool and if you are sort of working and lurking make yourself a cup of tea you know coffee on that hour as well you know it's, you can kind of time your day by it it's kind of nice so there we go looted that now i want to sell it now what would be handy dandy super handy dandy i always make a save before i do anything else though just in case there's a crash or something you know what i mean so i'm going to head inside this little building over here and hopefully there's going to be a galactic trade terminal also known as a gt on the wall galactic trade terminal uh, galactic trade terminal that's gtt yeah so we go let's go over to here and boom sell and you can sell it right here you don't have to leave this actual area and there's actually a manual save point right by the galactic trade terminal interface so you could just hit up a manual save rather than jump in and out of your ship like i just did but we've sold that we've made ourselves a shed load of freaking units it's, it's millions not billions but there we go people that's another good way to make units so now if you haven't got the glyphs you can turn on your network settings and go inside of the nexus now this is a little bit hit and miss you've just got to hope that there's another player inside of the nexus that's got an activated idiom farm inside of their base list i mean you can build your own activated idiom farm i think i've done videos on how to build your own activated idiom farm if i can find one i'll put it in the top right hand corner and you can go and make your own activated idiom farm if you really want to but yeah i'm going to be heading over here and seeing if i can find another player inside of the nexus oh this isn't a good sign you see all those people sitting there they're usually people just sitting there hoping people give them resources that they can sell for units and things so yeah that's another way you could make units actually you could just join them you could just leave you you could just sit there and leave it maybe get something rest on your joypad so you, your playstation doesn't fall asleep or whatever and just hope someone's generous and gives you a shed load of freaking units or something you can sell for units but anyway if you go to a bases or a space or a space anomaly if you hit space anomaly on that sidebar it's going to only show you the bases for all the people inside of the space anomaly at that point and time and then just look for activated idiom farm sadly no not a winner winner chicken dinner for me no loser loser yeah down to the boozer right okay and um, i'm flying out inside of my living ship i guess we are and there are other ways and means that you can do things so pirate systems of space people and doing some smuggling runs is a, is a way that you could do it so i'm in my living ship i mentioned let's try doing cargo running or smuggler running using my living ship let's give it a go let's give it a go because we've got all the storage in the world in this thing so yeah why the fudge not so first i've got to find myself a pirate area space there's one there you can see there it's got pirate logos all over its skulls that's what you're looking for pirate area space let's head on over to that area of space then people now normally you'd have to warp back to a station well a, a normal area of space to sell it and then you're probably going to get scanned aren't you got a workaround for that people so let's go into the actual station let's just buy some freaking contraband and i'll show you how to not get scanned by the system authorities and how not to lose favor of any of the races so this is quite an easy way of just being a, a simple pirate without really any of the risk all right so let's go on in i'm, I'm not going to cut the footage so you can see how i'm doing this exactly step by step i'm going to land here and now there's a merchant in here that's going to be selling certain things and they've nerfed this as well. They've nerfed this too. They've made it so they sell quite a limited quantity of these things. So now making units is far harder than it used to be. Now there is another method that you could make units. You could do ship scrapping. So I'll put another video in the top right hand corner for ship scrapping if that's more your thing. But here we go. I'm going to get these and those and these. So yeah, yeah, it's not a great deal to be fair. And you know, I've just spent money buying these and the only profit I'm gonna make is the percentage markup, which is, is pennies on the freaking dollar. Okay, so lovely, we've got that, cool. But now you're probably wondering, well, now you've got to fly it to another system. You've got the risk of the Sentinels and all the authorities and all that sort of shit. No, no, watch this. Okay, cool. So my freighter, I've left in a previous system. You can now access your freighter from the list. Ha! So my freighter's in a normal area of space. Teleport to Mondo, back in my freighter. As long as you've got a Galactic Trade Terminal fairly close to your teleporter, this is really freaking quick. <laughs> How do you like them apples? And look, I can sell them for the markup. I mean, it's, it's like I say, 4.3% I've made on that. But it's, it's seconds, it's not minutes, you know, so... Do it a few times. If you've got a load of pirate systems inside of your um, portal list, it, you can do this relatively quickly. You could go through all of the pirate systems, grab all of that stuff, and then jump back to your freighter at the end and sell the whole freaking lot and make 
a fair bit, okay? But you're talking, I mean, if you're waiting for that AI farm to replenish its, its activated idiom, you could do this in between, not a problem. Also, even though you don't get much when it comes to growing your plants anymore, if you just filled this full of nip-nip, okay, and you're in a normal area of space, you're still gonna get that contraband markup on your nip-nip. So it's actually quite profitable to become a nip-nip farmer and just make a freaking shed ton of nip-nip. If you've got a stash of nip-nip and you're looking for, what do you do with your nip-nip? Plant it out, plant it out to make a massive great big nip-nip farm and you can sell this stuff for a massive markup. I say a massive markup, it's about a 4.5 or whatever percent. But if you're growing it, no, sorry, 2.1. But if you're growing it yourself, it's it's, you're growing money, basically. You're growing freaking money right there. So yeah, nip nip farming is probably quite a profitable way to go if you want to do the farming route still. Right, if you don't want to do the farming route, there are other ways of making a fair bit of cash. Get your best fighter. Get your best freaking ship that's going to do the most damage, got the best shields and your best defense. Make sure you've got quite a lot of sodium on you or things to replenish your shields. And again, jump to a pirate area of space because you're less likely to get intercepted by freaking sentinels. In fact, it doesn't happen. You are going to get a few sort of pirate fighters come at you and you are going to lose your standing doing this. But be a git, be a pirate in a pirate system. Heck yes. So just find yourself a load of freighters. I'm looking at that little map on my center console of my ship. And you see that little purple box that just appeared, the little rectangle. They're freighters. Fly towards those freighters and they're going to have storage containers all over them. And it's just a case of blasting them to bits. So this is probably the most fun way to make a shed load of units. But just be careful. It looks like they've nerfed this too <laughs> in a roundabout way. They've made it so the cannons take a heck of a lot more damage. So these ships' cannons, they also do you a heck of a lot more damage. You watch just how much damage I'm taking. Now, my, my ships are fully upgraded. My shields in my ships, fully upgraded. They put that beam on you for a few seconds now. Boom, you're losing swaves. You're losing chunks of your shield within seconds. They can take you out. So just be very, very careful. And when you actually target those freaking cannons now, they're like super reinforced. They take some freaking killing in a half. It's like taking out four ships or something. It's freaking mental. It's like they're armor bloody plated now. And I, I threw everything at it. Rockets, freaking positron ejectors, hovered above it. I even crashed into it a couple of times. Yeah, nearly killed me, me trying to just take out those cannons. So be a bit careful. But, you know, I've only done this for about, what, six minutes or so? And look, I've got all this stuff. And you can sort of do the math in your head at roughly how much I'm going to be making. It's, again, it's hundreds of thousands. So it's going to equate to maybe millions. But it's a fun thing to do. So again, why your AI farms that you're visiting are replenishing the AI rather than sitting there for the hour, jump to a neighbour pirating system, smash a load of freaking freighters, jump back again. Why the fudge not? So it's a case of setting up some sort of multitasking daily thing that you can do, but you're going to have fun with it, you know? I mean, you could throw in a couple of missions, go in the station, pick up some missions, go in the Nexus, pick up some missions, maybe do an hour's worth of mission running while you're waiting for your actual um, activated idiom farm to replenish. But yeah, if you've got other ways or things or suggestions to do in that hour, people, help people out in the comments. Type some stuff into the comments. If you've got other ways to make units, ways that people can spend their hour while they're waiting for their activated idiom to actually activate again, yeah, stick it in the actual comments. Why the fudge not? So here you go, I'm selling a load of stuff. Now I was hoping to show you that, you know, it's quite easy to make a billion units, but you know, there's a whole day grind to make a billion units, even with these methods that I'm putting out there because the stasis devices have been seriously nerfed. The stasis device firm, farms right now are fairly dead in the water, really. I mean, you're going to be making maybe one or two in the time that doing all of this. It depends what your idea of fun is and what you want to do. But, you know, if you're doing this to send out frigate missions, still sending out the frigate missions rewards you with quite a lot of freaking units. That was just one. And look at that. I got myself two million units just doing one frigate mission. There was only two frigates that were sent out there. That was a low level one. So sending out your frigates anyway, if you're trying to S-class them all, you're going to get that daily. So if you've got a decent settlement and you're doing your frigate missions, you're going to be getting quite a lot of freaking units there anyhow. And that's a daily thing and if you've got a lot of frigates you're going to get quite a lot of units and then you can sell all the stuff you, you don't want like the iridescite and all of that other stuff that you don't really need 
So there we go, people. That's all my tips for you guys on how to make units fairly quickly. This is fairly late game, though. Until next time, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again. Well, thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see, please hit a like and a subscribe. And I'd like to say a massive great big thank you to all of my backers over on Patreon and over on YouTube membership. Thanking you, backers. And if you want to support this channel, just don't skip the adverts. That throws revenue down my avenue. Or yeah, just stay with Captain Steve a little bit longer and hit something on this screen. There's merch here now too.